All right, you guys. I am so excited to look at this figure because you don't understand. I love this show so very much. When you have stellar acting, amazing production value, phenomenal writing, that's when I'm just like completely sucked into the world and now I want to get the cut and now I want the figures, right? Uh, Killian Murphy, freaking amazing job in this show. Which Thomas Shelby, freaking love this. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to pick up whatever Big Chief decides to do. I know I'm definitely getting Arthur. Um, I'm hoping to do Alfie, uh, Tom Hardy. That would be awesome. And if they do uh, Aunt Paul, uh, I'd probably do that as well. Um, They've been nailing, the, they nailed the likeness on, on Killian Murphy. So I think hopefully they will do the others as well. Um, I picked this up from Marcos uh, from Collector Zone. Here's the thing: there's two versions of this, right? This version is the standard edition, and then there's actually a signature edition. But the signature edition comes with a plaque with Killian Murphy's signature. But you can only get that from Big Chief and you have to import it in from the UK. You know, if you're in his cantina, Marcos usually does really good discount codes. And, you know, after doing the math, the difference between this and the signature edition, uh, for me personally, I decided I wanted the figure quicker. And the pretty big price difference, probably like $150 or so, between this and the signature edition, I was like, eh, I can't do it without. Um, because I'm really here about the likeness, so if I don't have a signature, it's fine. But this is an awesome figure, let's take a look. I have to say that Big Chief put such an amount of detail in this packaging and in the figure. This is probably one of the most beautiful box arts I've ever seen. You've got the silver foil and boss Peaky Blinders. Uh, Thomas Shelby collector series collect character replica figure. So um, the sculpt of this is just amazing. And it just gives you the backstory on Tommy Shelby. I mean, look, look at this. It's just really intricate, exquisite design. Um, beautiful, beautiful box art. Um, character replica. The silver embossment is the theme throughout and then beautiful shot of the figure and of Killian Murphy, so... And the way they did the box is very smart. So when you pull up this window, it reveals a beautiful shot of Killian Murphy, the figure, Thomas Shelby, B. A. Myers, and then... we got the box covering in on the side. It tells you Another shot of the figure, all the accessories that it comes with, four hands, four glove hands, six hands, boy cap molded fabric, all the guns, watch, glasses, cigarette. Um, this is just seriously phenomenal. And here you have your placard, 2000 ES. Now the if you bought the signature version, it would be 400 and the card would be blue, but this gives you Picture figure certification, authentic limited edition produced by Big Chief and their license. It's your figure. Peaky blinders at the back, really nice. For this, you can actually get a backdrop of Small Heath. Kind of insane, right outside the bar. There's actually two layers to this figure, so I want to show them to you in detail. Alright, we're gonna go hang out for a minute because there's too many accessories in this that. I'm not sure I have time to go through all of them, but we will go through the key ones, but Here are your glove hands Regular hands in the box Your ball cap two different versions Just beautiful some wrist packs get your stand gun um, Gin cigarettes cup a flask lighter cigarettes itself smoke Pocket watch, glasses, I don't remember seeing their glasses in, in the show though. Um, and then the pistol, I 
like just a lot of kind of chop back with good stuff. I just found something else. The box gives you an ES size 627 of 2000. Now that is freaking cool. This portrait is banging on to Killian Murphy now. The paint is a little bit glossy. It shouldn't be, but it is. But the sculpt is definitely there. Now this tailoring is so impeccable. I mean, look at the quality of all of this. This is just top notch. Cut and sew right here. Pretty good articulation. He can raise his hand while he's in the coat. So that should be cool. Um, and then the neck's a little bit short, so let's just, just pull it up a little bit. Um, yeah, man, I cut and sew on this is just beyond fabulous. I just love this so much. But I can't wait. All right, let's let's just get him laid out. Let's just look at him real quick. A couple of things off the top. Um, Harris magnetic, very awesome. The cut and sew on this, the cut and sew. The suit, the proportions, like everything about the cotton so on this is probably the best I've seen on any figure. I mean, I'm talking like custom groups where they offer full figures and the cotton so is that proportionate. That level of quality is there. I wanted to show you guys real quick. Um, the wrist packs are super easy to swap out. I swapped out the wrist and then I pulled the coat off because I wanted to show you guys how his holster hunters is. That's the chain for hooking in the um, the watch, and the vest is done by Velcro and then the tie, so it's held together very, very well. Um, and then just look at the detail, like on the back of the holster, like that's just really, really freaking amazing. So, and not only that, they even did the gold button off the top like you did in season one of the show. So this is very, 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 very nice, right? Now, the tailoring in this coat, this is like if you took a real coat and shrank it down to 1.6. That's how exquisite and on point this is. This is a very, very well done coat, outer coat. And his sport coat jacket too. I mean, look at the lining. That looks like a real jacket shrunk down. This looks like one of my Armani Exchange ones. Isn't that amazing? So, the, you do get a gloss reflection off of the paint. That's one part I think they could have improved on. But the sculpt is there though. The paint app on the head is in, on the portrait isn't the best. I think, um, yeah, if it wasn't so, if it wasn't having a glossy sheen, it would be a lot better, but it's not a big enough of a, I mean, overall right now, I can tell you right now, I still consider it as a nine out of 10 figure. Nine, yeah, it's that good on everything else. Here we have Tommy Shelby holding a glass of gin and a cigarette. What's really cool about the cigarette is that look at this thing. They sculpted it with the smoke coming out. That's pretty smart and insane, isn't it? Really cool. And the other thing that's really cool is tailoring is so good that I can put the gun in the holster, right? And then when you wear the jacket, it's you know, it's it's like if it were real, right? Like a one-to-one. -one, that's how it would be in real life, and that's what they did, and that's kind of freaking awesome. All right, this doesn't get more Thomas Shelby than not. He's cigarette in his mouth, smoking, uh, you know, the smoking coming out. Here's what's really cool. That thing is sculpted so perfectly, you pop that in and there's a nice satisfying little click to it. Not like a click, but a little nudge that you can see that it catches. So they just did really good on the production of this. You know, holding a bottle of gin. Um, 
There is some really nice wiring on the cape, on the outer coat, and then you can really pose it and get some nice flares going. And you have hole in the pistol, which is kind of nice. And there you go. That's Tommy Shelby right there. This is unapologetically Tommy Shelby from Small Heath, Birmingham. A uh, very beautiful figure. I think it lives up to the character replica name. I had him with a shotgun over his head and holding a bottle of gin. You can just see the pistol sitting in the holster underneath his jacket. Um, very nice that you can pose the outer coat with the wire cape. So, this is gorgeous, guys. I love this figure so much. Um, yeah, got this from Marco's A Collector Zone. Really, really good piece, and yeah, I'm probably gonna be getting all the other uh, PK binders as soon as they release them. So, all right, guys, thumbs up, like, subscribe, tell me go away, however you want it. Thank you for your time and checking this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.